I was bored out of a tank of oil. Yes, I'm a woman. And yes, I love beautiful things. I'm just telling you these things because they're facts and I just want to save you the time of stereotyping me. Recently, I was invited for a conference. So the minute I sat on the plane, I looked next to me, a man was trying to speak to me and trying to be friendly. He smiled and he said, oh, let me guess, you're traveling to London for a big shopping trip? This is my reality. My name is Bashar al -Majid. I'm an assistant professor of law of six academic degrees of law, including a PhD, and I'm a member of government. I might be those things, but I'm so much more. But I'm really sick and fed up of people stereotyping. This is not my problem. This is, might be the problem of a lot of women around the world. Actually, what do I need to do to stop that stereotype? Maybe fly to the moon, for God's sake. Like, stereotypes, they're lazy, they're unfair, and they prevent progress. And I was trying to research the reasons behind them when I, when I was writing my article for the Financial Times. They kill dreams, they actually do, and women and young people have dreams. I did have dreams. When I was a little girl, I had a dream. I wanted to go to space. And my mother brought me a telescope as my seventh year birthday gift. And I put that telescope on top of my house. I was looking to the stars every day without understanding anything, making draws. But it, it was actually my dream. So I started to talk to people about it. And they just laughed. And they said, Women don't go to, to space. That is not actually a career. So hearing that was like a punch to the stomach. And I'm fed up of listening to no's and underestimating and stereotypes. So 25 years later, I'm still facing these conventional views. I'm concerned about climate change, though. And uh, we're Kuwait, we're an oil producing country, and uh, we're part of the climate change problem. And I went recently to speak to a senior members of oil companies trying to understand what they do to face this problem, the, the problem of climate change. And guess what? I was stonewalled, criticized, patronized. Uh, the first man told me, that, of course, a woman like you would either care about environment, woman rights, or animal rights. A second one actually accused me of acting against my economy and trying to make him lose his job. And the third man told me that, oh, you shouldn't worry your little pretty head about it. Excuse me? It is my head who's going to boil when it hits 55 degrees for a month in the summer. And guess what? The temperature is increasing. It is, we are the hottest country on planet Earth. So what are you talking about? I mean, I was upset and I went away and I've done a serious research and I came up with a serious conclusions. And I talked about that on national TV, an international one. And one CEO of one, of one of the oil companies was interested in my green project and he took it on board. So simply, I crushed those stereotypes. I did crush them. And it made me feel so good. And I mean, it is a serious problem that facing young people with high qualification, I mean, we often get underestimated. And you get stereotyped for many things here. You could stereotype because of your gender, or because who you are, or because of how do you look, or where you're coming from, many, many things. Well, actually, in my case, I'll speak about stereotyping because I'm, I'm a woman. And I'm very sad to say that often, I'd rather, if I have a wonderful idea, or I think it's wonderful at least, I'd rather to send the file and the document alone because 
it is most likely to be accepted. I mean, let me tell you some facts here. I teach in Kuwait University Law School, okay? And I know for a fact that 70% of our graduates are women, okay? And 70% of the highest grades go to women. But when it comes to the position of power, where are they? Where do they go? We have one female MP amongst 50, and we have three ministers against 16. So what is the problem? Where all the intelligent, bright, young women go? Why you don't see them in the position where they can be? I mean, and this, the world sees this problem too. The World Bank ranked us seven from the bottom out of 187 countries in terms of gender equality. And the LSE, London School of Economics, has, well actually is doing currently an investigation to see what's the obstacles that face young women and what prevent them to participate in the political arena. I mean, we should focus on mainly three points. First, have a courage. And when I say courage, you need to embrace your constitutional and legal rights. I know that constitution grants us an equal rights, but they need to be embraced. And you have, you have to have the courage to fight for your opinions. You need to fight for your thoughts. You need to believe in your ideas. And you know what makes me feel sad as a woman? Because we're women, we're often been assertive. If, we, if we've been like assertive of something, we could make someone upset. But actually, it is us who's being upset. So, we should fight for the qualification that we work for, and we should get the, 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 the place that we, I mean, I'm, I'm getting emotional here, but you get my point. The second thing, you need to be professional. You should set your standards high, okay? And you should have ethical and moral views. Because we're women, we're often been accused of being emotional. But emotional is part of intelligence. Because there is something called emotional intelligence. And as if men don't get angry or storm about, but we never call them emotional, it's only us. So you need to put an input here. I know we have to do, because I'm a woman, I know deep down that I have to do this little extra work all the time. Just little extra, just to prove myself. So it's okay, we can do it. But we have to be professional. And the third thing, you have to be supportive. And when I say supportive, a woman needs to support other women. I mean, you need to have, it is, it is crucial. And you need to have joy. You need to enjoy another woman's success. And you need to enjoy other men's success too. Because we're part of their success, yeah? We're part of it. So it's not, it's not a competition in here. We're half of the society. We're actually more than half of the society. I mean, a lovely story that has all these three pillars together, and it's a real story, it's not me dreaming or something. A girl in 2012 graduated from Kuwait Law School with a good grade and she went and she applied for a job to be a judge. And then the man at the counter refused to take her application. And then when she asked him why, he said, because you're a woman and we don't have women judges. And she starts arguing with him with all her constitutional knowledge, Article 7, Article 25, Article 2, but he was actually not listening. So she went back home and she cried and she applied for another job. But actually, no. She went and she sued the Ministry of Justice in their own court. 
okay? And she was claiming, look, look at her claim. She was claiming that the constitutional authority being unconstitutionally acting against constitution to embrace her constitutional rights. <laughs> Can you even <laughs> repeat this? <laughs> and after years of battling, going back and forth, documents, she won the case. And because of her, we will have very soon the first female judges in Kuwait. So how many stories like that were missing out? How many stories like that you are missing out? How many chances and opportunities that you left and you could be making history and you just let it go because you let someone else stereotype you? So, I want to make things simple here. I just want to ask, let's lead by example. Please, men and women, if you have a young person, young female, daughter, sister, friend, please, listen to her and listen to him. He might impress you and he might surprise you. And you all women, please, if you have any ideas, thoughts, dreams, Fight with them. Fight with them truly from the heart. You might surprise yourself. And you, you might surprise everyone else. Like what I've done to that man on the plane. Thank you.